Silver spot price is up over 30% in the past 12 months. Good thing I converted some cash into silver along the way. Inside the cigar box is a year's worth of silver lessons learned plus 124.3 ounces. Previously on Silver Heist. To see more, please subscribe. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. In the past 12 months, I've bought at least 124.3 ounces of silver. And then this happened. Silver is up over 30%. And if silver is up over 30%, how is gold doing? And while I don't see silver and gold as an investment, just for comparison, how are other asset classes doing in the same time period? So while I've been making YouTube videos for five years, we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to show you five different purchases I've made in just the past 12 months to see what lessons were learned because the best way for a successful future is to learn from some of your own lessons in the recent past. And while I'm more of a believer in consistent effort, I will have a bold prediction at the end. We're going to be dusting off the Magic 8 Ball. Let's take a quick look at where silver and gold spot prices have been over the past year, both in terms of dollar value, but also percentage move from a year ago. And let's also look at where these different other asset classes are going. So the Dow Jones Industrial for the past 12 months, up 12%. S&P 500, up 19%. The tech-heavy NASDAQ index, up 25%. Apple stock, in particular, up 28%. So while gold spot price has moved from 1702 to 1953, that represents a percentage for gold moving up 14%. But silver has moved from under $19 an ounce spot price to $24.93 today. And that is a move of over 32%. So as an asset class, the spot price of silver is up over 32%. That is more than any of the major stock indices. And it is higher than the movement in the spot gold price. If silver is up over 30% over the past 12 months, is there more room to the upside? Well, I believe yes. And so what can I do to purchase silver over the next 12 months? And what can I learn about what I did in the past 12 months? So my first lesson from July 2022 is to get the most silver you can when your silver senses are tingling and you're telling yourself, this seems like a low spot price. So I looked for the biggest, lowest price premium silver that I could afford, and I found that in silver kilos. So last July, the spot price was going down. It was shocking to some, surprising to me, but it seemed like a great opportunity to buy some silver. So as the silver spot price was falling last July, I bought 32.15 ounces of silver. That's what this kilo represents. And I bought this for 22.42 an ounce physical silver. So ignoring spot price, just looking at physical silver, I have this at 22.42. And so now with the spot price of silver approaching $25, I'm in the black and I have 32 plus ounces of silver in my hand. So if that spot price was pretty attractive, well then this happened, the silver spot price went down even more. So I was very fortunate that in July of 2022, I not only bought one kilo, as the silver spot price fell, I bought a second kilo. So I doubled down on the lowest price premium silver I could find, and I felt that kilos would be it. When you're buying 32.15 ounces of silver at a time, you know that you've added some significant weight to the stack. By around Thanksgiving, I was looking forward to maybe some silver or gold spot deals at the different big online dealers, and then this happened. 
I was hoping to get some silver spot prices at Atmex for some John Wick bars or something else they had, but then it sold out. But instead of crying over spilt milk, I bought something else that was on sale that to me was a pretty attractive price. I don't remember the premium over spot at the time, but I do know this. So I'm holding physical silver that was purchased in the low 24 for the physical ounce when the spot price today is just shy of 25. Kilos are great because you get some of the best silver premiums and you get 32.15 ounces of silver. But if you can get the 10 ounce bars for a similar price, that's a great size and it's actually easier to count 10, 20, 30 ounces of silver. Once you pay your bills and make your household obligations, one of the toughest things for a silver and gold stacker is should you buy silver or gold? I paid off my car loan and then this happened. With no monthly car payment, I figured I could buy a fractional gold coin each and every month. So not only am I stacking silver, I'm stacking gold on a consistent basis. And for the gold, I'm trying to do every month, month after month, a one-tenth ounce gold eagle. So if I'm buying consistently month after month, I'm dollar cost averaging. And you know, while silver's up 30% for the past year, gold is up 14%. So I've bought when gold was low, I've bought when gold was in the middle, and maybe I even bought when gold was high. But I'm buying consistently, and I think over time that's going to add up because this tube of 25 is now only too shy from filling up. I have some plans on the way, so one more gold coin, and there'll be one down, one to go, and then there'll be one last coin, Mission accomplished. In March 2023, I had money in my budget and silver was on the move or silver was in a good place. And so I bought some 10 ounce bars. So I repeated 10 ounce bars, but with one of my favorite formats, the RCM 10 ounce bar. But I discovered a great way and a great price for this silver. I ended up paying $24.94 an ounce, so $249. So I think I got a deal. I paid $249 for an RCM bar, and I got it at Atmex. I thought that was such a good deal. I not only bought one, I bought three. So three of them for $249 each. So three RCM bars for under $25 a physical ounce. And guess where silver is right now? Just for spot price, silver is just under $25 an ounce. So with silver up over 30% in the past 12 months, 32 ounces, 64 ounces, 94 ounces, and 124 ounces. All 124 ounces purchased at a physical price less than the spot price of today, plus monthly consistent purchasing of gold. Let's get a bold prediction from the Magic 8-Ball. With the silver spot price up over 30% in the past 12 months, is there more room up for silver? Magic 8-Ball says... Outlook good. While well, silver spot price is up over 32% in the past year, over the past week, it's up a bunch. So what's next is that I bought 35 ounces of silver 11 days ago, and then this happened. If you're watching this video in the present, please subscribe and come back again soon to see what happens next. And if you're watching this video in the future, please click now to see the exciting conclusion.